When you are thirsty, you leave everything and you go to drink water. Same way in the case of learning English. You should have that massive desire. Hello my dear friends. My name is Rupam and I welcome you all to my channel. See my dear friends, in the process of learning English or anything whatever you learn, it is very important that you take the responsibility on yourself. Let me give you one example. Suppose you go to a function and you meet some friends. Someone comes to you and starts talking to you in English. You have two options. Either you say excuse me and run away or you decide to talk. Now you decide to talk. Done? And he comes to you and he says hi how are you doing? And in response you say hey I'm fine thank you. But you missed out on a very important thing. Because when you say hey I'm fine thank you what about you? This is important because you are also asking someone how is he? Now you have not said this and you are feeling guilty. Once he leaves you say to yourself oof why this guy came and talked to me and that also in English he is too much. See you are blaming him. If you think in a positive way you will say oh my god it was my mistake next time I will make sure that I don't repeat this mistake. So this is a positive way of taking the mistake on yourself. See my dear friends whenever we make some mistake there are a million ways we can find fault on someone else. You can think oh this is because of the educational system. In my school no one taught me about all this. Or you may also think I have to do all the household work. How can I manage time? Instead you can just simply say to yourself let me go home and start again. So what will happen here? You have that thought in your mind that once you go home you will start again and that will help you to excel yourself. Now what happens? The next step is next day you take out the book English book and you decide to read properly because you have in mind that you have to become strong. You read for a few days for a week and after a week you again become upset because you are not improving. Why you are not improving? Because you have taken English as a subject reading, memorizing etc. And you decide that let me see some videos if I can get some help. Suddenly you come across a video where you see someone is saying that if you listen properly you will be able to become a good English speaker. That stuck your mind and you immediately decide that you have to listen more. Yes, my dear friend, this is what I want to tell you. That in order for you to improve your English, you need to be a good listener. So what you have to do? Listen continuously almost every day. Whenever you get chance, listen to English videos, English audios. Once you start following this process, start listening, after a week, you will realize that something is changing. You are improving because now you are understanding how to use words. Which is correct word in a sentence? Which is a wrong word? Suppose someone is saying, there are so much people. Immediately you will think, no, this is not correct. It should be, there are so many people. Again, you come across someone who is saying, I am 22 year. You will say, no, I am 22 years old. Again, another one. We met three years before. Automatically your mind will say, no, this is not correct. It should be, we met three years ago. So this is how your English will be improving slowly. And when you start listening more and more, you will also understand the correct sentence and which is a wrong sentence. For example, I must to call him immediately. But the correct will be, I must call him immediately. Next, every student's like the teacher. But the 
This, this is not correct. The correct one is, every student likes the teacher. So when you listen, you are improving. From beginner, you reach the advanced level. Your grammar will also improve in this process. When you are listening, your run of sentences are also improving. For example, the incorrect sentence is like this. I wanted to visit the zoo and I wanted to see the aquarium. And I also wanted to visit the pet rescue center. Instead, the correct way of saying is, I wanted to visit the zoo, see the aquarium, and visit the pet rescue center. This is how you learn. So my dear friends, what you need to do? You need to start listening today. For learning English, you cannot get, take the support of any other language videos or audios. It should be from English to English. Because if you watch other language to learn English, you will get the habit of translation and you can't become fluent. And every time you have to speak in English, you have to think a lot. So don't adopt this habit. One more important thing, my dear friend, which I want to discuss today is that many of you guys, I'm sure many of you guys will think the same thing which I used to think. Once I become fluent in English, then I will start speaking. And this is a very big mistake I used to do. I always used to think, not today, I'm not yet confident in my English. So once I become confident, once I learn English properly, I will speak. What happened in this case is that whatever you learn, it will stay inside. It will not come out. Only when you speak, your mind will start working. And that, that will help you to become fluent. So, tell yourself, I will speak to become fluent. Keep this, okay, in your mind. Very important thing. So here comes a technique I want to share with you. In order for you to become fluent, in order for you to learn more English and communicate, you have to learn some words with opposite meaning and synonyms. For example, you say the word important. Okay, you use this word important again and again and again. Instead, you can use crucial, essential, vital. So what will happen? People will think, wow, he's using different words, but with the same meaning. One more example. You always say, I want to improve my English. Well, instead of improve, you can say, I want to enhance my English. Excel. I want to become strong in English. Also, you can change the sentences. Modify your sentences like, I want to develop my English communication. I want to become a proficient speaker. Now we come to the final point. In order to learn English, in order to speak English, you need to practice speaking. And for speaking, you need to develop your confidence. Now comes how to develop confidence. Whenever you learn something new, Suppose you learn a new word today, a phrase or an idiom. Try to explain the same thing to someone you know, a friend or a colleague or your family member. Suppose you have a kid in your neighborhood and you have learned something new. Explain it to him. There is a benefit on that, a big benefit. Also, you can record whatever you are explaining. So once you explain, okay, what happens is that you understand where you are going wrong. If you are going wrong, you can work again on that and try to explain again. This is a process which will give you three benefits. The first one, your presentation skill develops. Second one, your confidence level improves. And third one, multiple revision happens. And this will help you to become a fluent English speaker. Now finally, before I end, a bonus tip for you. One final tip. If you want to become a great, not just good English speaker, you should have three things inside you. Three things you need to have inside you. Number one, a massive desire. Number two, a strong determination. Number three, action plan. So now, what is massive desire? Massive desire, you can relate it to drinking water, the thirst. When you are thirsty, you leave everything and you go to drink water. Same way in the case of learning English. You should have that massive desire. Take out 15-20 minutes every day. And during this, that time, 
it should be only you and learning English. You will be learning English, nothing else. Number two, strong determination. Many times, many people say that I am a beginner. I am learning English for so many days, but I am a beginner. Why they say that? Because their determination is very weak. They will study for a week, for 10 days, for a month. After that, they just give up. Because they feel it's boring, time-consuming, and they never learn. In this process, they always stay as a beginner. So you need to break this and you have to have a strong determination. The final one, you have to have an action plan. Our mind is designed such a way that after repetition of something, we get bored. We get demotivated. So you should have a plan that change the way of studying every day. Today you read this, tomorrow you shift to writing, day after tomorrow listening, speaking, podcast. Change, keep changing and see how nicely you learn and how fast you learn. So my dear friends, this is the topic for today. I wish to see you again. Thank you so much.